Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be studying the bipolar line coding scheme. So this is the uh, next category after the unipolar and polar schemes. And now we are studying the bipolar, the third category of line coding. Now bipolar will consist of three voltage level, which are the zero voltage, the positive voltage, and the negative voltages and how these voltages will be represented they will have two variations the first is the ami or alternate mark inversion and the second is the pseudo ternary now in bipolar one bit will always be represented as a zero voltage and the other bit will always be represented by the positive and the negative voltage but alternatingly okay so if you are encoding one bit as zero voltage always the other bit will be represented by positive and negative voltage but alternatively so once it has been represented as positive the next time the same bit occurs it will be represented as negative then positive and so on so let's see what are the variations of bipolar see alternate mark inversion mark means one so alternate one means you have to use alternate voltages for bit one so therefore alternate voltages will be used for bit value one and zero voltage will be used for bit value zero so let's see how we will code this data 010010 in ami in case of ami we have seen that zero is represented as voltage zero right so zero will be represented as zero voltage zero then uh, one will be represented as positive voltage first okay so we are going from zero to the positive voltage then we have a zero so we come down to the zero voltage again we have a zero so we maintain at the zero voltage next we have a one so previously here the one was represented as positive v now in the next case it will be represented as minus v so here we represent one as negative voltage and in case of zero again we come at zero voltage okay now ami has always been used for long distance communication this is the use of alternate mark inversion that you have to remember so coming to the second part which is the pseudo ternary line coding in case of pseudo ternary it is a variation of ami what actually happens here is that we use zero voltage to represent one and alternatingly positive and negative voltages are used for representing bit zero okay so here what will happen if we have to represent the same data that was used for ami in this case it is pseudo ternary so zero will be first represented by a positive voltage okay so this is plus v we go from zero to a positive voltage then the next is one so we go to a zero voltage in next the bit is zero so this time we'll go to a negative voltage okay this is minus v then the next bit is zero again so since this time zero was represented as negative voltage the next zero bit will be represented as a positive voltage then the next bit is one so we'll maintain at a zero voltage and the next is zero last time zero was represented as positive so this time it will go down to a negative v voltage okay so this was all about bipolar line coding scheme in the next video we will be covering the multi-level and multi-transition line coding schemes which are the last parts of line coding thank you for watching if you liked our video and understood this concept please let us know in the comment section below so stay tuned to our channel Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.